800-800-8089. The Christian Village, 1507 7th Street in Lincoln. A community of compassion. Phone 732-2189. Eaton Corporation, America's choice for top quality, high performance electrical equipment for over 50 years. Lincoln College, providing students the best educational experience since 1865. Go online to lincolncollege.edu for more details. St. Clarice Manor, their team's dedication is what makes them special. Phone 735-1507. Community Action Partnership of Central Illinois. We're here to help. In Lincoln, call 732-2159. Schneider Chiropractic, 523 North Elm in Lincoln. For the best in chiropractic care and maintenance, call Dr. Alyssa Schneider today, 217-732-2140. Joe Ryan, Country Financial. For all your insurance needs, see Joe Ryan in downtown Lincoln or call 217-735-4385. The Hampton Inn in Lincoln. Call 217-732-6729. At the Lincoln Hampton Inn, we love having you here. Lincoln Printers in downtown Lincoln. For all your printing needs, including vinyl graphics and banners, phone 217-732-3121. Lincoln Printers since 1970. Rao Incorporated on North Tickapoo Street in Lincoln. Logan County Chevrolet, Buick and Cadillac dealer since 1953. Phone 735-4444. And by Four Corners Lou for the best full service oil changes, transmission, and radiator flushes, brake service, and lawn care needs. Stop by Four Corners Lou at 1101 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln. Yeah. Well, it's Saturday at 9 and we are ready to go on air. We've got Scott and Jake and Jim and Lloyd who are all accounted for. The Chiefs and theme is over now, but one guy still has yet to be there. Tell me where in the world is Joseph Patrick Ryan. He might be teeing up on the back nine or giving a perm to his dog Archie. Maybe sitting in air conditioning, watching his dad landscape his yard. Well, he might have lost his keys because he's old and has no memory. Tell me where in the world is Joseph Patrick Ryan. He might be him holding Well, it's time to start the show, and Joe is on the go to nowhere. He might show at 9.15 and think that he is right on time. Maybe he's busy getting guests wrong. I guess we'll have to wonder, wonder, where in the world is Joseph Patrick Ryan? I wonder, where in the world is Joseph Patrick Ryan? Joe! Joe! Where in the world is JPR? JPR, I like it. JPR. We have anything Do to you give have a away? Guess? We have we have something to give away because uh, if you call in and tell us where JPR's at, you're gonna win. Do you have a guess? Because I like this show. We don't have a Sup guest. You? A pizza. Seven three seven three seven nine one. Tell us where Joseph Patrick Ryan is at right now, and you're gonna win you a pizza. And uh, maybe well, that's probably, Chevrolet buy the new truck. That's the toughest question that we could probably ever have. Is somebody literally could be anywhere yeah anywhere but uh welcome to the cheap seats on 96.3 fm we are at four corners lube today where uh come in and boy you can get you a oil change in under 10 minutes give them a call 735-2761 come on in uh boy they're lining up right now it must be that uh that time where oil gotta get out before the hurricane hits change yeah scott kirby jake johnston lloyd kirby jim ash with you this morning you can listen to us on the mixler app if you're on the go just go to your uh, app store and download the mixler app and you can take us on the go uh we got some guests today jake uh liz and lily helton (laughs) (laughs) guest sorry Oh, all so right. had a, had a had a solid uh, guess of where Joe JPR is. A solid guess. Solid guess. They win. They win That's uh, he he wants to know if he wants a pizza. He has to call. He has to call. He has to call. He has to call. And it needs to be 
Yeah, 737-3791, give us a call. Uh, we do have some guests today. Team USA, Lily and Liz Helton will be stopping by, having a benefit today, as well as a silent auction to raise money for them to travel over to Bosnia uh, to compete with uh, Team USA uh, today, 11 to 4 at the Eagles Lodge. What do they do? What do they what do? Fighting. I don't know. I don't want to say the correct or wrong. I don't know if it's MMA, kickboxing. It's kickboxing? Okay. So uh, Team USA kickboxing over in Bosnia. Boy, that would be a fun little trip there. Maybe a little terrifying, you know, <laughs> uh, traveling over to Bosnia to fight. Uh, so we'll talk to them uh what, about 9.15, 9.20 they're coming on. So uh, having a benefit today to raise some money because I'm sure it's not cheap uh, to make that trip. And uh, hopefully they have a good turnout today, raise a lot of money, and then go over to Bosnia and have some success. But uh, once again, here at Four Corners Lube, a lot going on today. Uh, let's see. He's <laughs> well, that's possible. I don't I'd think we, we cannot say that word on air. I mean, I have before, <laughs> but uh, I, I yes, better not. Have. <laughs> Multiple re no. weeks in a row, actually. Yeah, uh, We did have an answer. Uh, Joe is in the crapper. Uh, that's a good possibility. That's, uh, you know, that probably a winner. maybe one of three options uh, right one now. Uh, but, yeah, a lot going on today. Uh, the Railers opened their season up last night. Jake, uh, unfortunately, fell just a little short to Close game. Bartonville Limestone. 14 to zip was the final. They're a powerhouse this year. Bartonville? Yes. Yeah? I don't know anything about them, so if you say so. But, uh, yeah, 7 to nothing at halftime. Sound like a, a good defensive battle. Uh, Railers just couldn't get anything going on the offensive end. And uh, my apologies. Uh, you know, usually have Coach uh, Sikowski on Saturday mornings after the game, and uh, I just didn't get the the invite out soon enough. My bad. Uh, what other in things the world? going on. I know. Uh, well, what do you have? Fantasy football or something last night? <laughs> I did, as a matter oh. of fact. Yeah. Well, yeah. Fantasy Clearly, there football. was more things important. Well, fantasy football is a pretty big part of my life. Yeah. And. <laughs> <laughs> um, how, how do you feel about that last not night? Not very good. No. You know, I had the ninth pick, and by the time you get down there, you yeah. got You got. You kind of have back-to-back -back picks, though. But you gotta. You gotta. You gotta make two good, solid picks right there. I'm just not real. You're not good at pressure. Real, not real confident in my team last yeah. night. But we'll try her again tomorrow. I got another one tomorrow. I got two more tomorrow. So. Two. More yeah, tomorrow. I tell you, it's a sickness. Is one on Mars. <laughs> no, <laughs> one of them is not ours. Uh, we've tried that in the past. One year it was successful, the next year not so much. So we kind of just uh, gave up on that. And it, it's more of a lack of planning on my part. So yep. I'll yep. take full responsibility. Yeah. Maybe next year I'll start planning for it now. We'll have something big next year. <laughs> take, it to level. <laughs> take it to the next level so right there. Give us a year to work on that. The next and, uh, level. Thank hey, you there's there, some Scotty. Ghostbusters right there. Yep. yep. Yeah. Holy Coming cow. Hot. Do you think they uh, go they ghost right hunting? No ghost. I mean, they've got lights and everything. Uh, yeah, we're talking about you. Give us a honk if you're listening. <laughs> they are not listening. <laughs> they are listening to the extraterrestrial station. Uh, what station would that be? E Network. Yep. ET Network. ET. Yeah. Come on by to Four Corners Lube and uh, give us a hunk. We're here till 10. We have some guests coming on here in about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, hopefully they show up. Um, there's Phil D's right sure there. Sure, they will. Who? Phil D's. Phil D's? Mm -hmm. In the gold pickup truck. Oh, yeah? Is that yeah. your brother? That is the brother. Oh, football today. We got JFL uh, kicking he's, off. He's got a long day going today. He's oh. got uh, CEL baseball in the morning here, starting, I believe, at 10 o'clock out there okay. at Chester East Lincoln Fields, I believe. I'm not sure where that is, actually. Maybe he could update me. And uh, then we do have JFL football in the afternoon, and that is a pretty solid it's a long day. And minimum and how minimum is, the front how line on that defense. How old is his boy now? Uh, seventh grade. Seventh grade. So he'll be playing at 3 o'clock. So I'd give him a little bit of No, he'll be playing, playing at 5. 5. It's 1, 3, and 5. Yep. So, yeah, I'll be out there and uh, looking for him. And, yeah, that's a busy day. Baseball in the morning, football in the afternoon. But they're young. 
You know, they can do that stuff. He's like Dion. You know, back in the day, Jake, we were. He's like Dion and Bo. That's right. We were out playing from sun up to sundown. So that's if we not, could get away with it. Oh, we got away with it. Mm, no. Dad had too many chores. Well, us. you were a farmer. See, I wasn't. I didn't have chores. Yeah, you, know, you had to feed the pigs and the cows and detassel the corn. And There was no detasseling no. the corn, but there was feeding the cows and pigs yeah, and so. taking care of the horses. You know, being a farm boy, there's a lot of responsibilities, you know, growing up. I don't know about nowadays. No? But back then, yeah. Back, well, nowadays it's more, it's technology advanced, you know. Well, there's not that many... Uh, livestock farmers anymore. Now, do you, do you around here? Your, uh, does your dad still have livestock, or just mainly just crops? Huh? No, it's just crop pro, uh, crop plan nowadays. Uh, got got a little too hectic for a one man show. The brother and I. Well, it uh, turned into a lot of rules and regulations too, didn't it? I mean, I, you know, I don't think it has much to do with that. I think it's, it, it has a lot to do with just you. You need that next generation to be able to be there with you and help you with help you through it and uh we both my brother and i both have families and that took takes a lot of our time as well and uh the thing about cattle and uh pigs they they take a lot of attention yeah you know you don't get the vacations and that and whatnot so now you took mom and dad over to Decatur this past uh, week for the Farm Progress I show. Uh, it's like a Disney World for farmers, isn't it? It's it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was I Decatur's on my route, so I, I see it. Uh, that side of town's quite pretty often, hectic. and that side of town. Yeah. If, you you want to avoid it at all cost, and <laughs> there I tell you, I, there's state police everywhere, yep. uh, and, yep. and, and Miller was and out local, there. local police, and uh, just kind of. I guess monitoring traffic and you know that was well a, not a only that thing. but they were also uh checking to make sure guys with trailers were their trailers were properly working and whatnot and uh that kind of thing just just trying to keep people safe uh they they don't want to stop people out on the interstate and create backups and create a right. more dangerous situation with how many people are traveling right at, at that area at that time so they they figured you know what we're gonna back off hang out in here and talk to them and, and uh, go over some things with them while they're parking as opposed to, which I thought was a smart idea, uh, kind of, if you have a trailer that's faulty or something, it may not be such a good thing. But now we got we got a lot of farmers in Logan County that are listening. Uh, what what uh, what's there to do over there? I mean, what what's, oh, for the what does it consist show? of? I mean, it, it depends what you go for. Honestly, <laughs> a lot of the people go for the free stuff. Oh, yeah. you, you walk around on a different thing, and you just grab stuff and go, and they're they're happy to put it out there. It's advertising for them. Um, some of it's you're going over there to study, maybe different products, different uh, different equipment, uh, do some learning. Um, there there's a new push for a new crop in, in Illinois. Uh, I don't really want to talk about much. But, yeah, I don't but, either. But. Uh, I was kind of interested just to have some knowledge on it. Yeah. And we went around. Uh, I, I did learn a little bit about that. Um, and, and, you know, there, just basically anything farming. You know, if you're new into farming or if you're a landlord or something, maybe you want to have some more knowledge on, on the crop production side of it. it. It's it's a great way to learn some stuff, and you can get some good one-on-one -on -one time with some, with some people that have more knowledge than you'll ever be able to retain. So... Uh, it, it, was, it was a cool event, and uh, like I said, for me, being an old farm kid, uh, I love checking out the farm equipment, uh, new combines, new uh, new tractors and whatnot. It's always fun. All right, Jakey, let's take a commercial break. We come back, we'll have just Lily on today. Lily Helton, she'll be on with Team USA, talk about her benefit uh, today to raise money for Team USA traveling to Bosnia for some kickboxing that kickboxing action so stay tuned you're in the cheap seats 96.3 fm jake's furnishings in lincoln has outrageous deals going on now 
that will allow you to transform every room in your home with top quality furniture like Ashley Brand and the full line of Bimco mattresses. Whether it's outfitting your living room, family room, dining room, or breakfast nook, Jake's Furnishings in Lincoln will save you more than the big box store and will leave you money to select the best Bimco mattresses, which are also on sale in all sizes now at Jake's. And you'll also love the full line of gorgeous bedroom outfits, which just arrived and are priced to sell in many styles, contemporary, modern, classic, and traditional, just to name a few. For more details and to ask about free financing, stop by the Jake's Furnishing Showroom located at 1100 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln. Check out their all-new website at jakesfurnishings.com, phone 735-1212, and become a fan on Facebook. Jake's Furnishings, make it your own. This is attorney Jim Grimaldi. Have you been arrested for DUI? A DUI is a serious offense with potentially severe consequences, which may include jail time, high fines, lengthy periods of probation, even suspension or revocation of your driver's license. The laws regarding DUI are very complex and continually changing every day. You need an attorney with knowledge and experience in handling DUI cases, whether or not this is your first offense. I have vast experience in the area of DUI law. As a former chief DUI prosecutor for Sangamon County, I prosecuted thousands of DUIs and was exposed to every possible defense strategy. Call me and let me put my experience to work for you. Call Grimaldi Law Office now at 217-651-8089. That's 217-651-8089 or visit GrimaldiLawOffice.com. Newly remodeled and completely updated, the Christian Village is Lincoln's only faith-based retirement community and is the area's leader for independent, assisted, and skilled senior living and health care services. The Christian Village at 1507 7th Street offers a wide array of living options for older adults, such as independent living, rehabilitation, skilled nursing, and memory care. For a private consultation and tour of the campus, please phone 217-732-2189. The Christian Village in Lincoln, a community of compassion. Hi, Joe Ryan here with Country Financial. I pay for this spot on the radio today to remind you of something that you have been putting off for a long time, life insurance. You need life insurance. I know that you are waiting until after you paid off the car or after your vacation or as soon as you lose weight and quit smoking. The fact is, you need life insurance. Your family depends on you to provide an income for them. You need life insurance. Call me today, Joe Ryan, 735-4385. Hello, Lincoln and Logan County. This is Chris Grau of Grau Chevrolet View Cadillac in Lincoln. Here are some great incentives and rebates for Chevrolet and some of our best-selling models. During the month of August 2019, you can save as much as $10,966 below MSRP on a 2019 Silverado 2500 HD. You can get $7,676 below MSRP or 15% off a new 2019 Silverado Crew Cab LT All-Star. And our best-selling SUV, the 2019 Equinox Premier, you can get as much as $6,080 below MSRP. Please keep in mind all buyers may not qualify for all rebates. Please see Grow Incorporated for details. Visit us on the internet at www.growing.com. Call us at 217-735-4444 or stop by and see us at Grow Incorporated on North Kickapoo Street in Lincoln. Come join the Grow family. out the full line of Grasshopper and Husqvarna lawn equipment with great summer specials on all mowers and trimmers of Four Corners Lube, including financing, which is available. Get into Four Corners Lube located at 1101 with Lawn Road and Lincoln now for the best service possible. Open Monday through Saturday on 217-735-2761. Four Corners Lube, home of the full service in and out oil change. Would you like to get out and enjoy life without pain and without medication or surgery? At Schneider Chiropractic, we have helped countless people achieve this goal. I'm Dr. Alyssa Schneider with Schneider Chiropractic, located at 523 North Elm Street in Lincoln. I invite you to try chiropractic first in order to build a healthier you. At Schneider Chiropractic, you're not a member, and we don't operate an assembly line process. We take the time to get to know you, your specific needs, and formulate a treatment plan that will lead to a healthier life. Using the latest techniques in chiropractic, sports injury, and pain management, Schneider Chiropractic will get you back on track so you can enjoy life without pain. 
please schedule your private consultation by phoning my office manager, Tammy Kirby, at 217-732-2140. We look forward to getting you back on track. I'm a princess. I'm a pretty mess. I'm a princess. I'm a pretty mess. Everything you see. Welcome back to the Cheap Seats on 96.3 FM. We're at Four Corners Lube, and in with us this morning is Lily, the Princess Helton. Good morning, hey, Lily. Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, we had you on the show, it's been quite a while ago. Yeah. Uh, a lot has happened since then. A lot uh, has happened. You're in town today. Uh, you're going to have a benefit from 11 to 4 at the Eagles Lodge on North Kickapoo, raising money to travel over to Bosnia with Team USA. Yes, sir. Uh, we'll go over a little bit about that benefit uh, here in a little bit, but uh, you and uh, Liz Helton uh, raising some money. Tell us a little bit about what's been going on. I know it, it's uh, it's been a while, but uh, since the last time we've had you on the air, uh, what you what uh, <laughs> what have you been up to? Obviously fighting. But, yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, we've been both Liz, my wife, and I have been really trying to compete at the highest level as an amateur over the last year. Um, we've fought in Chicago, Kansas City, um, South Carolina. Uh, Liz won the IKF East Coast Classics over the past year. Um, we fought in Iowa, so we've really been trying to take challenging fights. Um, also, in the midst of our fights, we've been really uh, attending some Waco training seminars. Um, WACO, WACO is the uh, World Association of Kickboxing, okay. which is where we're going. That, that's the team that we're going to Bosnia. Um, and they have training sessions all throughout the year with different high-level coaches. Uh, we went to one in Illinois and Florida, so that's kind of how we've been getting recognized and um, you know networking and showing our skill and. We, uh, through that process last year, we got selected to be on the team for Bosnia. Now, you post a lot of your stuff on Facebook, which we love because we can follow follow you as you go through your uh, adventures. Do you have a, like a promoter or is this kind of self-promoting where you're going out trying to find fights or do you have somebody that kind of tries to organize all that? Yeah, we definitely do a lot ourselves. Um, we love the networking. We like to go train and travel and meet people. So that opens up a lot of doors for us. Um, our coaches, you know, I've ultimately set up our fights, but we just kind of, kind of network and management's more for pro level, but as amateurs, you know, we just kind of set it up ourselves and do it through networking. Now you say, you, uh, Jim asked you off air, I think, what your record was. You said 12 and 5, and that's just kickboxing alone. You also box as Yeah, well? I have, um, I have four boxing fights, three boxing fights I had um, earlier on in my amateur career. I don't box anymore, um, but I'm not opposed to boxing. I'm just really focused on kickboxing right now. Well, it's got to be tough if you're boxing and kind of get that urge to maybe kick them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a different different movements. The head movement's different. Yeah. Distance is different. So, yeah, that would be uh, kind of confusing, you know, if you're out there boxing and she gets kicked in the face. And you get one warning, so. Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> A warning, well, you kick her in the <laughs> face, she's done. Uh, let's talk a little bit about today, uh, what, what's going on uh, at the uh, Eagles Lodge 11 to 4, obviously trying to raise some money to go over to Bosnia. You said your goal was around $4,000, uh, and that's for you and Liz yes, together. Yes, that's total. Uh, first of all, how many uh, how many teammates are going over there? There's total 24 on the team, and okay. there's six females this year, which is the most I've ever had. This is, I believe that this is the most they've ever had, period. So. Yeah. Well, you said you also said off air uh, before we came on here that in the years past, you know, USA would be lucky to take a handful of people Correct. where other countries, Russia and so on, they'd have 50 plus, you know, 90 plus participants over there. So, you, like you said, it's just showing how far the USA is behind and, uh, you know, the, uh, I guess, kickboxing. Yeah, world. definitely. Um WACO organization and Rob Zablinski, he's, he's been in the game for, well, since anyone can remember, I believe, and he's been really working all his years on getting kickboxing, um, you know, recognized by the government as a sport. You know, these countries overseas, they, their government pays them to fight, and, you know, that's all they do. They, they train and they get paid to fight, so that's his goal is to get us recognized by the government and um, 2021 World Games is coming up, and that's my ultimate goal for right now. 
um, kickboxing grow is growing, so hopefully America can can step it up. Now, is that kickboxing? Is that what you're kind of focusing on, or are you working up towards like MMA, or you know, is there any plan on that? Yeah, definitely. I want to compete in MMA. I do uh, jujitsu on the side. It's just not a uh, main focus of mine right now. I'd like to accomplish a lot more in kickboxing um, before I step over to MMA. So. Um, World Games is my goal right now for 2021, and um, I, I also am on Team USA for MMA, actually, the UMAF, um, that next year they're going to, um, I believe, Bahrain for uh, MMA competition, sort of the same thing as WACO. Um, I'm undecided if I'm going to compete yet, but I did try out um, over the summer, and uh, my jiu-jitsu and striking was up to par, so I am selected as their 115er for MMA uh, UMAP Team USA as well. We're all right, uh, but first things first, uh, yes. going over to Bosnia and the big days today where you want uh, everybody to come out and support uh, you and Liz as you try to raise money for the Bosnia trip. Tell us a little bit about uh, what people could come out there and do today. There's going to be so much fun. Come out and have some fun. There's there's a bouncy house. There's face paint. There's a dunk tank for kids. We got games for kids. Uh, Liz and I and a couple of our teammates are going to be holding some boxing pads for kids. Um, we got Mario Cannon um, out here. He's the local owner of Anytime Fitness. He's going to be out there. Um, we there's a Tamika Brenz from Springfield. She's coming out, and there are so many donations, guys. If you guys want some deals on some baskets, there's some really cool donations. We got you know local tattoo donations. We got Buffalo Wild Wings. We got Peoria Hotel at the casino. We got food. We got booze. We have anything you can think of. It's gonna be there. It's gonna be a fun day. Now, real quick, I did out on you. Yes, unfortunately. Do you guys have that covered? We're working Maybe. on it. Okay, well, if anybody's listening, uh, they're needing a uh, speaker, microphone, music, anybody that can donate uh, a few hours of their time today, get a hold of them. Uh, you can contact them through Facebook or just get on out to the American Legion. And, uh, or, is that right? No, uh, Eagles, Eagles Lodge. Eagles Lodge. My bad. Get on out to Eagles and set up for them. They would Thank really so appreciate much. it. And uh, unfortunately, things happen. Don't know the circumstances, but... Uh, yeah, and he, hopefully somebody will step up and uh, get that covered for you. Uh, some other things going on today. There's a 50-50. Uh, you said a large bucket full of liquor. So That's like an understatement. <laughs> it's, it's actually like two buckets. It's I think there's about 30 bottles of of alcohol. So you got a drawing to win a 55-inch Samsung TV. Yes. Uh, it also says here live sparring at 2.30. Yep. And smart. I got a volunteer to my right. He likes getting punched in the face. All right. So we'll works. see you out there. Can we get the name on 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 record? Yeah, that's Go ahead Jake. And say your name. That's Jake, the furniture guy. Jake, the furniture guy, coming to take a punch. Yeah. Now, if I didn't have to ref football today, I would be there to take a. Oh punch. yeah. <laughs> yes, you would. Uh, maybe Joe. Maybe we we'll get a double duty there, Jake and Jake and Joe. Uh, photos with the champions so we have a little photo session for yeah the definitely kids can... liz and i uh, brought our belts and my mom's story time photography is going to be out there taking pictures uh, we both brought two of our belts so we got our uh, team usa t-shirts on and we'll be taking pictures and then my mom also got some photo prints we'll be signing signing autographs one day those will be worth some money so absolutely keep them as prized possessions now one thing i notice on here and i feel sorry for the poor individual that has to do this unless it really warms up real quick a dunk tank yes who's going to be in the dunk tank well, we? my stepdad has volunteered, or maybe got unvoluntarily volunteered <laughs> by my mother. Poor guy. So he is prepared, but also we have uh, uh, Vince Carter. I talked to you guys a little bit about Vince last time, the eye grind movement. Eye grind movement, you guys, uh, we've talked about last time. Yep. He's going to be out there. He's going to be out there grinding as usual. He's going to be holding mitts for the kids, and then he's going to get in the dunk tank. We'll probably make him go in a couple times. Uh, Y'all should also have a, uh, somebody's getting a pie in the face. What's that all about? Yeah, Jason's dad, Jason's getting a tie in his, uh, pie in his face. Jason Bramer, he's going to take a pie in the face for some money to... Yep, and Sherry Treacle too. Both of them are getting pies in the face. Now, is this just something that's just going to happen, or do you got a donation to do it? or? 
Highest bidder. Highest bidder gets to throw a pie in the face. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What else is on here? Looks like we got everything covered on here. The uh, baked goods. The baked oh, goods baked aren't goods? really talked about on there, but okay. man. Oh, the bake sale. Okay, there the it is. The people came through on the bake sale. There is beautiful professional cupcakes. There are walnut brownies, like the size of my head. We even have a cheesecake um, that's in the refrigerator. There's Reese's, like anything that you can think of that has been cooked by a grandma or, you know, the good neighbor next door. It's there. There's so many sweets. Boy, I'm hungry, Jake. And we have you walking tacos. And walking, walking tacos. tacos. Yes. Tacos and you brownies. Like walking tacos. That, that just sounds like a great day right there. You get you a walking ta oh, ta taco. So punch in the face. Buy you a big old piece taco. of cheesecake and get punched in the face. And, and, and some baskets worth buying. Yeah. Yes. And uh, it is a silent auction. So yes. you have, I saw you posted some stuff last night, I do believe, on Facebook Live yeah. of all the things that you had there. It looks like you had several tables full of uh, donations and you just go through and write down your bid and you know you know what you have to do you got to follow through there and sir are you going to be are you going to be doing some demonstrations on some of your moves or no yeah we'll probably hit some show pads. off a little yeah, bit yeah okay. yeah definitely yeah. Ba, 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 ba. we are going right to do before she spars with you scotty we are going to do some Scotty's live sparring busy. i got a i got a friend coming down who regularly spars with me um on the weekends and we got some pretty flashy kicks for each other so she's coming down she's got my team usa shirt with some duct tape over my name so she's she's coming from my head today she's gonna nice. <laughs> throw some kicks and we're gonna have some fun so uh good uh Obviously, Liz unable to make it here today as she's still traveling to, to get here. She missed out on all the fun. Yeah. So uh, hopefully you guys have a great day today. Raise a lot of money and, uh, you know, safe travels to Bosnia. When uh, exactly is this trip? It's uh, we leave October 17th. Oh, so it's really coming up. Yeah, here soon. we got a We had a we have a solid eight week fight camp. So we are we're grinding hard and it's coming up soon. Do you know anything about Bosnia? No. I mean, it I just know it sounds was bad like bad to go travel before, and now it's absolutely beautiful. Like we're staying on a really nice resort, five-star resort. So nice. Uh, now I had a message here. Do you want to throw out your GoFundMe page information? Yeah. So uh, my GoFundMe is on my Facebook. My uh, Facebook name is Lily Brienne. Um, L i l l i e. E R E E A N N E. Um, you can definitely find me on social media or reach out to my mom through her business, Storytime Photography. Um, the links are on there. Um, and then again, today we're having a, a big event. So anything you guys can donate or come, just have, have a good time, you know, share some smiles, share some positive any energy. That's what we need. Probably the easiest way to contact you would be through Facebook. I know you're very active through Facebook. Yes, and definitely. So go to your Facebook page and all the information's there as far as links to the GoFundMe, uh, your schedule for today, what's going on, and, you know, just uh, what you have going on as far as your boxing career. Or yeah, boxing I, career. I really appreciate all, all the people on Facebook. I really like to post and, you know, share what I'm doing on a daily and weekly. People like to follow my journey and my wife's journey. So if you guys are looking to you know check me out along the way definitely add me on facebook and follow my journey it's it's been a crazy one but we're just getting started all right well good luck today hopefully you raise a lot of money and if you raise over fifty thousand, <laughs> you can take the cheap seats crew with you all right and we'll right. have live play-by-play -play action behind the scenes and all that good stuff so jim is that approved Yep. <laughs> we got a thumbs up. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for coming on today. Thank you guys for Good having me. Good luck to you and Liz. Uh, safe travels in October. Uh, and uh, be sure to post a lot of stuff on Facebook so us people back here can see what's going on. Definitely. Thank you guys so much. You're welcome. That's Liz Helton with Team USA as they are in town today for a benefit at the Eagles Lodge. Raise money for Team USA and bosnia trip jake that sounds fun it, it does so fun. yeah so it does maybe we should uh do us a little benefit for our trip do i have to get kicked yes <laughs> yeah i don't want to benefit all right. <laughs> all right. jake does not want kicked all right we need to take a commercial break we come back we're talking football so don't go anywhere you're in the cheap seats 96.3 fm 
At Lincoln Printers in downtown Lincoln, the number one aim is to provide complete quality satisfaction at a fast, fair price while utilizing modern technology and a creative flair. With great customer service, Lincoln Printers offers business printing, invitations and personalized cards, quick copies and faxing. But did you know Lincoln Printers also offers vehicle and window vinyl, large format printing, full service bindery application and graphic designs. For all of your printing and sign making needs, see why for over 40 years, Logan County and Central Illinois has chosen Lincoln Printers for high quality, fast turnaround and affordable prices. For more information, phone Lincoln Printers at 217-732-3121. Stop by the office at 711 Broadway Street across from the fire department in downtown Lincoln or email lincolnprinters at ablink.com. A business Abe Lincoln will be proud to lend his name to. Experience outstanding at Lincoln College. Our dedicated faculty and staff get to know you and what will help you succeed on a personal level. I don't feel that it's work. You get up every morning, I get to come to work, I get to see the kids, and it's not a job. You know, it really doesn't feel like one. We really do enjoy our work. It's really worthwhile. It never gets old to see people realize that they can be who they want to be. Come find out what it means to be outstanding at Lincoln College. Join the happy folks who choose the beautiful Hampton Inn Hotel in Lincoln, Illinois. Part of the Hilton Family Hotels, you'll love all the luxury and amenities the Hampton Inn Hotel in Lincoln has to offer, including a delicious full hot breakfast served every day, an indoor heated pool and whirlpool, along with competitive rates on wedding and reunion blocks all year long. So don't wait. Reserve your stay at the Hampton Inn Hotel in Lincoln or schedule your complimentary tour and consultation for your business meetings and events. Phone the Hampton Inn Hotel at 217-732-6729. That's 217-732-6729, 24 hours a day, and go online to lincoln.hamptonin.com. Just off Interstate 55 at exit 126 at the Lincoln Hampton Inn, they love having you there. Check out the full line of Grasshopper and Husqvarna and lawn equipment with great summer of Four Corners Lube, including financing, which is available. Get into Four Corners Lube located at 1101 with Lawn Road and Lincoln now for the best service possible. Open Monday through Saturday on 217-735-2761. Four Corners Lube, home of the full service in and out oil chain. Joe Ryan here again. If I had a crystal ball and I could tell you exactly when to purchase your life insurance, would you do it? Or would you wait around just to see if I am correct? Well, I don't have a crystal ball, but I will tell you that now is the time. And with a Country Financial Rop Rider, you will receive a tax-free return of your premium at the end of the term. Call me, Joe Ryan, and ask about the Rop Rider, 735-4385. Now hiring. St. Clara's Rehab and Senior Care in Lincoln is currently seeking certified nurses assistants, licensed practical nurses, and registered nurses to join their team. If you're looking for an exciting career opportunity where you'll have the chance to make a difference in the lives of others, then this is the perfect fit for you. Applicants must have current and valid RN, LPN, or CNA license for the state of Illinois. Apply online at stclarasrehab.com today. The Community Action Partnership is a national network of 1,000 agencies that creates change across the country. At Community Action, we believe that people should be given the chance to succeed. We have many success stories, but there's more work to be done. Our programs help teach and empower people of all ages. We create affordable housing and find jobs. We heat homes and transport people. Community Action Partnership, America's poverty fighting network, helping people changing lives. We're here to help. In Lincoln, call 732-2159, Community Action Partnership of Central Illinois. Hello, this is Weird Al Yankovic, and you're listening to Cheap Seats with Joe, Jake, Jim, Lloyd, and Shabadoo. Shabadoo! On 96.3 FM, WLCN. Action. Rock and roll, everybody let's lose control. All the problem, we let it go. Going fast, we ain't going slow. No, no. Hey, well.
welcome back to the Cheap Seats. Boy, that's a little uh, different there, Jim. What album was that? Jim's awesome? feeling a little bit funky today. Uh, he is. He's like a cold Medina. He is. He's uh, he is the funky cold Medina DJ Jazzy Jim. We are back here at Four Corners Lou. We have another guest. Joe Ryan. <laughs> Joe Ryan. Joe Ryan in the house. Uh, a lot of guests. Just got done talking to Lily Helton, Joe, of Team USA, having a benefit today at the Eagles Lodge. I heard some of that. Uh, so good luck to them as they are raising money for the travel to Bosnia as they compete for Team USA. So tell us, Joe, what do you do? <laughs> What were you doing this morning? Because we have and had. If you say you're on the crapper, my brother wants. Yeah, a pizza. you want a pizza. <laughs> were you on the crapper? Uh, no, he he missed that one. Okay. Were there any other guesses? Uh, no. I thought uh, Lisa Mustenzik might win. <laughs> well, there you are, Lincoln Junior High School. And now we're giving directions. Yeah. That's some funny stuff. That is. Um, well, I mean, we just do it all, Joe. We do do it all. We do do. You said do do. I uh, actually, you're not gonna like when I tell you what I was doing. Why? You're gonna be jealous. Oh, well, what were you doing? I was having some breakfast at Mom's Arcade. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, you little beep. Yeah, Thanks for the invite, my friend. He's back in town, and my mom and dad. Now, did, now you say you just got back from Colorado. Did you go out to pick Pee Wee up, or what's going on? Yeah, I just went out to hang. See, you know, uh, he moved in down there. He's two blocks from Coors Field. And yeah. We went to a Rockies game, and we went to a concert at Red Rocks. Hung around. Nice. Got to go to Red Rocks sometime. Uh, well, I never got invited. I'll tell you what, that's cool. Pee Wee, give me an invite. Who was, uh, who'd you see at Red Rock? J Rad, you ever heard of J Rad? Yeah, I never did. Have. Um, hey Joe, have you ever been to Red Rock? <laughs> now you're going back in time to have fun, aren't you? Yeah, because you weren't listening, you were on the phone. <laughs> yeah, I know all about it. I know the things you do, the things you pull. You know what I'm saying? Guess who was up at the arcade? Who? Timmy. Yeah, I was just going to say, <laughs> I knew somebody would win that. That's why I didn't put a prize you out there. You didn't give him a ride out Timmy, here? Timmy was at the arcade. Uh, he told me that uh, he has seen Coach Worth. That's what he told me. And he just goes, yeah. mm, 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 shaking his head. So, <laughs> he, he's oh, done. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> well, we had some high school Good football go on last yeah, night. Yeah, we did. Uh, Railers fell a little bit short last night, Joe. Uh, 14 to nothing against uh, Bartonville Limestone. Uh, Joe's life. I didn't. I tried to listen to a little bit on the I'll Mixler app, go. but oh. I, it was hard to hear. That volume wasn't high enough. I don't know if there's an adjustment for that or. I don't know, but it was hard to hear. Uh, maybe if I had some headphones in, it would have been better. But, uh, yeah, it fell a little short. just sounded like the offense couldn't get going. Uh, you know, it was 7 to nothing at halftime. Uh, so, defensively, uh, you know, the Raiders hung in there strong. Well, they uh, gave up 14. That's pretty yeah, good. So, I don't, I don't know. So, I can't really comment on the game. Uh, probably find out a little bit more today, and then it would be old news next week. But, uh, you know. But they'll bounce back. Uh, you know, you, you live to fight another day. They'll get back in the uh, film room and out on the field this week and prepare for next Friday's game. Yeah. Eight, uh, eight more Fridays. Yeah. Uh, the soccer, the boys' soccer team, they had, they've been having some success early in this year. Uh, they beat Pleasant Plains. This past right? Thursday. You okay? What in the world? My little... Uh, <laughs> Hiccup. What was that? Uh, their record's 2-0 and now, so the boys' soccer having some success. And girls' volleyball today at 9 a.m. at Morton uh, for their tournament. So, How you doing? What you doing, man? Okay, I, I text her. <laughs> You're giving money to him? Well, jeez. I had to, man. I had to. I Good to. stuff. Yeah. See you, dude. Look at you. Well... You know, a little, little side business. <laughs> yeah, you got some type of side business going on. <laughs> it's actually just a regular business. Oh. He just need to make a payment. He's got stuff to do. So bring it on over. I'll take payment, I'll, too. I'll take cash wherever I can get it. All right, real quick, let's talk some baseball news as Cubs and Brewers, Cards and Reds. Cards and Reds rained out last night, Jake, so uh. that puts them in a little predicament. Uh, if, if I'm understanding this correctly, they'll have a doubleheader today and tomorrow. Okay. Is that correct? Correct. Correct? Yes. Uh, that would be correct. Fortune yeah. first. Yep. So rosters open up so they can bring some pitching up, uh, which is going to help, you know, each team out because 
playing two double headers back to back, man, that's uh, we get an extra man anyway. that's tough. That's that's a lot of games. That's a lot of games in two days, and that could take a toll on your pitching staff. Good, good or your catcher. Uh, the Cubs and the Brewers. Cubs had a big win yesterday over the Brewers, and now they are just one game back there. I tell you the truth, guys. I thought uh, last week Cardinals had a three-game lead. I thought, uh, well, they're just going to pull away. This uh, this division race is over, and you know the Cubs they swept the uh, Mets, and then they beat the Brewers yesterday. Yeah. So and, uh, Cubs, and Cubs, what's looking the, the, like the they're back on Cards track. were up three games. We lose one game, the Cubs win, and then the Cubs have played two more games and the yeah. Cardinals haven't played. Right. It's like yeah, gaining ground, gain ground though. I mean, yeah. Hey, you got to win them. This time of year, you got to win, win them. I mean, every time. game right now is important. And the Cardinals are taking on a Cincinnati club that I tell you, they're they're pesty. They are. they, uh, they can hit the ball. They've got some solid pitching. Uh, they're about ten games back, but. Uh, Boy, they're, they they're, can be tough next year. They, yeah, they're a really good, tough, uh, good team, and I'm sure they'll make a couple additions next year, and you know, be in contention again. Yep. That's all my baseball talk. You know why? Because it is football season. We got some college football today. We well, got. We got to get. What, we jump so quickly out of the high school. Well, we don't have much time. Joe. Joe, gee, well, Joe, I mean, where have you been? You know, you, gotta give, you can't show up. You, you got to give a shout out. Rocky Mountain High. You can't show up at quarter to Aaron ten. Fricky and uh, those boys over there at Warrensburg Latham, they won an overtime last year, so there's an next Raider. Last year? Uh, they won an overtime well, last night. Well, congratulations. Last, last year, too. <laughs> yeah, they got off a plane at midnight, okay? Uh, no excuse. But, you know, uh, yeah, another. he's got the winning traditions going on over there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right. Good for him. Well, hats then off. give him a hats off. And I think uh, I got to give a shout-out to my uh, – We don't do shout-outs. We do hats off. I'm giving a hats off to the Williamsville uh, boys over there. They beat they, Athens. They beat up on Athens last night. That's a big win for them. Yeah, it is. The uh, – <laughs> Well, I got what I got. One of my favorite boys on that team playing wide receiver. Haven't heard a thing. Don't know how he did, but they won't. That's a big win for them. I know they were worried about yeah. it. Louisville's a good football team. Do you have any more hats? To Do throw? you have the? Uh, I thought you might have the scores. From well, the I right couldn't there. find them anywhere. Aren't they on the website? <laughs> well, yeah. You know what? They probably are. Are they right? They're on the website. Yeah, they are actually. Yeah, good call. Thanks, Joe. Never thought about going what. there. Speaking of, we need to get going on that. It's probably the real opportune time to get our website up and running to its fullest capabilities. Oh, we're taking it to the next level. Well, yeah, we've, we've, we've taken it down a level. We had a little hiccup back in what October, November, where I couldn't access it because October, we were, November is like next month, like last year. <laughs> oh, <laughs> holy! <God. You> know, <laughs> we had the website going pretty good, and. Uh, then we, I was blocked from it. I couldn't access anything, and I didn't know why. Well, somebody who set it up only let us do it for like six months, and we won't name any names, Jim Ash. But, uh, you know, but Lloyd was able to go in there and figure it out, and now it's just a matter of getting everything updated where it needs to be and sponsors and all that good stuff. But we got our best guy on it. So we oh. get to, so it says are, Mount, Mount are you Zion Highland about didn't Jim play? over there ripped his shirt off like the Hulk Hogan ready to rip your face off. Throw him on the bus like that. You'll see what happens. <laughs> Don't make him mad. <laughs> <laughs> Jim will kill me uh, like tornado. Jimmy, he's a he's a lover, not a fighter. Hey, you had a fantasy football draft last I night. I did. Yeah. Didn't didn't go well. Who's number one pick overall? Uh Saquon. I mean, that's number one pick in every league there is. Who's Where'd Kyler two? Murray go? Kyler Murray, uh, he went, I want to say maybe fourth or fifth Who round. Who was your that early? Pick. I don't Maybe not. Who was no. your number one pick? My number one pick was your boy David Johnson. David. Why? Well, because Johnson. I had the ninth pick. It was nine. nine. And, and, by, and by the time you get down to ninth pick. What was your tenth pick? Or what was your second pick? Uh, second pick. Because you were back to back, right? Yeah. Well, you had nine, ten, and then ten, nine. The second pick would have been uh, Andrew Luck. No, yeah. Andrew, Luck. <laughs> Andrew Luck. 
<laughs> that, that that's another topic. I gotta tell you what, I can't believe David Johnson's a good pick. I, I just I, I just, can't either, can't Joe. Score. And I did not really want to do it, but you done did it. You got to get one of those top running backs. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, but they can't uh, throw. You know, I took throw. I took Travis Kelsey with my second pick, a tight end. You went to a two players. He's it's, hoping for a higher draft pick next pretty year. Good. He's got, yeah. <laughs> you're playing for the 2021 year. No, my team's pretty good. They How really, could it be? Those are your first two picks. Yeah. But They're Joe, solid. Just you wait. Just wait. They keep track of scoring, right? In your league. Yeah, That's Kelsey's gonna. He, Kelsey's number one tight end. He gets wide receiver points, my friend. Okay. Yeah. Right, I'm with you. Have you had a draft yet? No, I have one tomorrow. Yeah, and who does it for you? Oh, His I wife. Do it. You do, I do, do it. it. His wife. Does I've it. read and studied so much of it. Whose is it? It's a. Uh, what do you mean? Whose is it? Whose draft? RT Sports. Who's that? Oh. Uh, uh, Joe's going big time. Balling. Dietrich? No, no, no. He's have one. Do you still? Have, oh. Does he still have his? Oh yeah, yeah, he does. Are you, are you with us today? Yeah. I mean, I'm are with you. you. I'm just got saying I got in Chicago at midnight. So what? That was like so what 12 time did you hours go to bed? ago. Uh, 12.30. Okay, maybe you did. I maybe get... not. Well, I'll tell you what. You were you did have some stuff prepared here. <laughs> so we don't, the Mount Zion game get canceled? I, I have no idea. Why would it be canceled? Well, I don't know. I, Tornado? I looked for a score and couldn't find one. Oh, well, maybe. But it could have been because it was in Highland. Or at Highland, so maybe they had bad weather there. Bad, bad weather. Don't know. But you can always look at them up now for us. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. Let's you know, we don't come here. Do Let's walk. talk about the Andrew Luck uh, ordeal. I got to tell you guys, I was watching the Bears game Thursday, and I got I got the notification that Andrew Luck has met with you know so no 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 and he plans to retire. Well, I thought it was one Monday. of those. I thought it was one of those fake news. You know, like no way. Because then you're looking on the sideline, and there he is. I'm like, there's no way he retired. Then they started showing all the fans looking at their phones and just getting going, just, and just going crazy. Yeah. And uh, say what? They're just, you know, they're looking at their phones, and they're just taking off their shirts, holding it up, and it's just the whole stadium was just, like, silent. And then after the game, they started booing him. Yeah. What do you think? How long do you think I set their franchise back? Not very long. I mean, I don't think he was going to play this year anyway. With a sprained ankle? It was it, it was more than that. It was more than a sprain. And it took him forever to get through his injuries in the past. And it just, I don't know, it just snowballed and he was done. What do you think he'll do? Andrew Luck's a different type of player. <laughs> You what? What do you think he'll do for work? Yeah, well, what would a what would a Stanford <laughs> well, Cardinal graduate do if, for work? If he can't live off a hundred million dollars, <laughs> you know. But uh, yeah, it's uh, better hope that uh, Stanford education gets him somewhere. <laughs> He's an intelligent dude. <laughs> I think I think he'll be just fine. He might be okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, they weren't real what happy. What do you think about that? Would you hate on him if you were? Uh, let's, no. Why would you say? hate on him? Yeah. I mean. Yeah, they more surprising. Him. Who's more surprising, uh, him or Barry Sanders? Oh boy, that's a good question. Well, I think the way Andrew Luck did that's it. That's the way I was and, thinking about it. Technology. When I was well, Barry Sanders. Barry did his was stuff. yeah. His so was kind of the Luck's. same type of thing, wasn't it, Barry? I don't remember exactly. I thought right now, Barry was still healthy. I didn't think he, he was. No, he was. No, he, he just was. said, "I don't want to do it." Anymore. He just said, "I'm done." Yeah. He's done. I mean, he was he was on the verge of breaking records. Oh, he. And he, he would have. So much fun. I hated him, but I loved to watch yeah, him. Yeah, he was fun oh, to watch. Man. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Andrew watch. Luck done. I feel uh, like Sanders was more. I think surprised. Sanders was more of a wow, but this was the, the way it was done. Yeah. yeah. Didn't really put him in a good position to. It wasn't the media that now are back then that there is now. You know, now, how do you think that thing got leaked? Oh, heck, who knows? And why would. I mean, that was probably one of the owners. Pissed off and talking, talking in the in the you say that on background. The oh yeah, but we had a conversation about it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Say anything. Uh, you say some of the other words that we can say on here, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> can you? <laughs> I guess you can. If you have a ratchet. Yeah. 
<laughs> but uh, no, I mean, you know, the owner's probably upset or the GM's upset back in, in the booth. Maybe, maybe being a little more vocal than he wants to be and one well, of the media picks it up and lets it go. So, yeah. Something happened. Breaking news. Everybody wants some breaking news, especially if it's right. Breaking <laughs> news. Well, we have opening season, opening games, whatever you want to call it, next Thursday as the Green Bay Packers come to Chicago. 100 years of football, guys. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of speculation, a lot of hype in Chicago as, uh, you know, they're favored to win a division again. And, you know, a lot of people have them going to the Super Bowl. Uh, do you think the that Packers? puts – No, Bears. Oh. Do you think that puts a lot of pressure on a, a young quarterback? Uh, I mean, they got probably the best defense in the league. Uh, is there a little added pressure uh, of being the, I think the top more dog? pressure on the uh, kicker. What? <laughs> there is there a, was some pressure there. I'm <laughs> just saying. There is a lot of pressure there. Uh, and they still never have really named their starting kicker. I mean, it's got to be Panero. I've heard that they're going to call someone from the stands. It is Panero. I mean, they never, I mean, at least I haven't seen where they came out and say it's his job. But he's had, it was his job the past two preseason games. So he's got to be their guy. And I tell you what, he's got a good leg. Made a 58-yarder against the uh, Giants. Uh, he missed, he did miss an extra point the, uh, last this past Thursday, but... I tell you, know, you we're starting an ice game. In Chicago. It's hard on a team. Good, I was going to say that would be a good test. On, I think, on who? That, the Bears. I think the Bears should beat the Packers by two touchdowns. Huh? Well, I like your thinking, Joe, finally. And we'll see. Where did LaShawn McCoy, uh, LaShawn McCoy go last night? Oh, I don't even know if he got drafted. Why? He got released just now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thought he might be on your team no. right behind Kelsey <laughs> at three. LaShawn, the LaShawn McCoy experience in Buffalo is over. <laughs> he gone. He'll get picked up. You know who else got released that kind of really shocked me? And the Raiders released Brandon Marshall, uh, outside linebacker. Uh, he used to be a, a force to reckon with in Denver. I uh, don't know what happened there. Uh, just a couple years ago. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know if he's hurt, if he's just deteriorated that much. But, you know, somebody might be able to go out there and I think you still have a year or two left playing. I don't know. Oakland does some weird things. So it's hard to tell with uh, Raider Nation. With Raider Nation and uh, oh, what's his face over there? Chuck Chucky. So, yeah, that, kinda, that was kind of surprising. But, uh, uh, college football, who you like today, guys? Illinois hosting Akron. ILL, baby. ILL football. Uh, hopefully another, I hope mm. it's an exciting season. Uh, You're saying no? I don't know, man. You don't know? I don't know. I know they have some good kids that, that are coming along, but uh, I guess they had a couple transfers that came in as well. Yeah, they've, they? their recruiting class is really. It's solid this it's, year. It's but getting there. They're getting uh, those four or five stars. And. That's what you need. You need them to stick around. I was gonna say, but that's usually you, you know, got to get them to stick around. Right. You got to you're two years away from them actually producing yeah. what you need them to. So you got to transfer quarterback from was it Michigan? Is that right, Joe? Sounds yes. right. I can. I was yeah. reading scores. Yeah. Oh yeah. What kind of scores? Well, you I was. I forgot. To, I wanted to bring up Peoria School. Did you see that? Peoria beats uh, Champaign Centennial, ninety-six to fourteen. Nice. Ninety-six points in that they, high school game. Do you a think lot. they try to run it up? How many touchdowns is that? I don't know. Let's go with a hundred. What was the score last year between the two? Bad. Centennials <laughs> been bad for a while. The uh, but ninety-six points is a lot of points. You have to to put ninety-six points up. You really have to hate the other coach. Sometimes you can't control it. 96? That's at least 12 you, or 13 You can touchdowns. control 96. I'll tell you what, when we were at, when I was in Bloomington and we played Peoria, it was 52 to 35 at half. Yes. And we went to half at 9.30. Yeah. And, and that's still a close kickoff. Game. We took the opening kickoff and drove the field and scored. So with eight minutes to go in the game, the score was 52-42. Uh, we were down 10 with eight minutes to go in the third quarter. And they scored 92. And, and, and a running clock the last six minutes of the game. That's incredible. You were the defensive coordinator too, weren't you? Uh, no, I no. was not. But oh. 
I don't know that I ever gave up 90, but probably close. All right, well, guys, it's 10 01. <laughs> that means it's time to go. Uh, once again, benefit today for Team USA, Liz and Lily Helton from 11 to 4 at the Eagles Lodge on North Kickapoo. Uh, a little fundraiser for their Bosnia trip. Uh, kickboxing is what they're going for, Joe. Yeah. So if what you, time's your demonstration? I heard something about that. Uh, Jake guys? is getting kicked in the face at 2.30. In the face? I don't know that Jake could take another shot to the no, face. I not. Maybe somebody else needs to do it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that only leaves you. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. You're out? Well somebody but uh, no get on out there today a lot of things going on bouncy houses face painting dunk tank walking tacos baked goods baskets silent of auctions days, I mean. baskets of booze baskets of booze. Uh, all kinds of things going on get out there support the girls help them get to bosnia and uh have a good day i guess and then uh, next week we're going to be Jake's or the Hampton Inn, which we refer to as the Waffle the House. The Waffle House. I'd like to thank Four Corners Luke today for letting us set up here in nice front. Nice out here today. Phone them at 735-2761. A 10-minute oil change. No appointment. Could change necessary. your life. Could change your life. You're right. All right. It's going to do it for us. Good day. The Cheap Seats Live Saturday Morning Sports Show on WLCN 96.3 and WLCNOnline.com is brought to you by Jake's Furnishings, 1100 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln. Furnish your home for less at Jake's. The Grimaldi Law Office, Logan County's only law firm dedicated exclusively to the practice of criminal law. Phone 651-8089. The Christian Village, 1507 7th Street in Lincoln. A community of compassion. Phone 732-2189. Eaton Corporation, American choice for top quality, high performance electrical equipment for over 50 years. Lincoln College, providing students the best educational experience since 1865. Go online to lincolncollege.edu for more details. St. Clarice Manor, their team's dedication is what makes them special. Phone 735 1507.